Do What Thou Wilt Should Be the Whole of the Law, Fred or Oz, and I'll be finishing up my Deleuze Labellum video series today. This will be the final video or videos in the series. I will uh, post them to a playlist so that you can go back and watch them consecutively if you'd like. That'll just make it easier. Uh, so look at the channel, The Steli of Revealing, and the playlist will be there. So without further ado, this is the final section of Libra de Lege la Bellum by Aleister Crowley of Light. I pray you be patient with me in that which I shall write concerning light, for here is a difficulty ever increasing in the use of words. Moreover, I am myself carried away constantly and overwhelmed by the sublimity of this matter, so that plain speech may whirl into lyric when I would plod peaceably with didactic expression. My best hope is that you may understand by virtue of the sympathy of your intuition, even as two lovers may converse in language as unintelligible to others as it seemeth silly, wanton, and dull, or as in that other intoxication given by ether, the partakers commune with infinite wit or wisdom as the mood taketh them, by means of a word or a gesture, being initiated to apprehension by the subtlety of the drug. So may I, that am inflamed with love of this light, and drunken on the wine ethereal of this light, communicate not so much with your reason and intelligence, but with that principle hidden in yourself which is ready to partake with me. Even so may man and woman become mad with love, no word being spoken between them, because of the induction, as it were, of their souls. And your understanding will depend on your ripeness for perception of my truth. Moreover, if so be that light in you ready to break forth, then light will interpret to you these dark words in the language of light, even as a string inanimate duly adjusted will vibrate to its peculiar tone, struck on another chord. Read, therefore, not only with the eye and brain, but with the rhythm of that life which you have attained by your will to love, quickened to dancing measure by these words, which are the movements of the wand of my will to love, and so to enkindle your life to light. In this mood did I interrupt myself in the writing of this my little book, and for two days and nights sleeplessly have I made consideration, wrestlingly, wrestling vehemently with my spirit, lest by haste or carelessness I might fail towards you. In exercise of will and of love are implied motion and change, but in life is gained in unity which moveth and changeth only in pulse or in phase, and is even as music. Yet in the attainment of this light, you will already have experienced that quintessence thereof is pure light, an ecstasy formless and without bound or mark. In this light naught exists, for it is homogeneous, and therefore have men called it silence and darkness and nothing. But in this, as in all other effort to name it, is the root of every falsity and misapprehension since all words imply some duality. Therefore, though I call it light, it is not light, nor absence of light. Many also have sought to describe it by contradictions, since through transcendent negation of all speech it may by some natures be attained. Also by images and symbols have men striven to express it, but always in vain. Yet those that were ready to apprehend the nature of this light have understood by sympathy, and so shall it be with you who read this little book loving it. However, be it known unto you that the best of all instruction on this matter, and the word best suited to the eon of Horus, is written in the book of the law. Yet also the book Ararita is right worthy in the work of the light, as Trigrammaton in that of will, Cordis Sincti Serpente in the way of love, and Libri in that of life. All these books also concern all these four gifts, for in the end you will see that every one is inseparable from every other. I wish to write to you with regard to the number 93, the number of Thelema, for it is not only the number of its interpretation of agape, but also that of a word unknown to you unless you be a neophyte of our holy order of the AA, which word representeth it in itself the arising of the speech from the silence, and the return thereunto in the end. Now this number 93 is thrice 31, which is in Hebrew, la, that is to say, not, and so it denieth extension in the three dimensions of space. 
Also, I would have you to meditate most closely upon the name Nu, that is 56, which we are told to divide, add, multiply, and understand. By division cometh forth point one two, as if it were written Nuith, Hadith, Rahur Kuith, before the dyad. By addition ariseth eleven, the number of true magic, and by multiplication three hundred, the number of the Holy Spirit, or fire, the letter Shin, wherein all things are consumed utterly. With these considerations and a full understanding of the mysteries of the numbers 666 and 418, you will be armed mightily in this way of far flight. But you should also consider all numbers in their scales. For there is no means of resolution better than this of pure mathematics, since already therein are gross ideas made fine, and all is ordered and ready for the alchemy of the great work.